Hey guys, what is going on? Onexius here, and welcome to something a little bit different. As you can see, my guy in the background is hyped up on caffeine. I had a lot of sugar, guys. I can't wait to get going. I can't wait to get the platform built. I can't wait to do all this. I can't wait to crap. No. <laughs> this is just a sped up recording, guys. As the title says, this is kind of just like a let's build a chat, a one on one session with you and me. Uh, I don't blame you if you don't want to listen, that's fine. You don't have to. I'm actually uploading this along with the next video. Like, I'm going to pick up after I get the platform built. Last time, I may or may not have mentioned it. I can't remember, honestly. It's like midnight here. Uh, I decided to extend the platform. It's a problem that keeps coming up, no matter what I do. I needed to extend the platform. I needed to get my ideas out there on the table, and I needed to take care of it once and for all, you know? Uh, so I decided, let's just go ahead and do a recording. It ended up being like an hour and a half. I was like, this is boring as heck. No one's ever going to watch this. But you know what? I'll put it on YouTube and I'll do like a little commentary to it. So I muted the audio for the original video and here we are. So if you're tuning in, thanks for listening. This will probably be a short video, like maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. Currently in the process of editing. So you're kind of going to see a little bit of what I do. I don't know. Not that that's a very big deal. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> it looks like I'm kind of thinking in the background too, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of directions I've been wanting to take this platform for a while since I started. It looks kind of cool. I like how it's kind of unique. I've checked out dozens of videos now of Project Ozone, and while they are making better progression than me, like I was mentioning earlier, people on episode 10 have like, full mechanism going and auto-crafting, and I just now got auto-crafting. I mean, I didn't have mechanism for a long time, I just... I kind of have fun with the game and I get lost, but yeah, guys, extending the platform, this is going to be a very important thing, and I figured since it's big enough, it's kind of worth showing off. This is going to be the entire undercarriage of the platform. This is the entire build. This is going to be huge. Once this is done, I can say with some certainty that I am done building after this. I'm going to be moving some things around and maybe making some, uh, I don't know what you would call it, improvements, like improving auto-crafting, improving the haunted house <laughs> doing some improvements on my refinement process on the refining platform but yeah so there's four platforms underneath I decided to kind of go with the uh, the same platform material that was used for my server room it's some kind of turlin block it's real cheap to make it's like uh, four pieces of iron some regular stone and there's a few things I'm not sure I'll actually have to check it out but I decided to go all four sides the exact same because I kind of going for that spacey look, you know, space. I keep saying that. I'm a big Warhammer fan if you don't know that reference. Space Marines. No. <laughs> it's just going to look pretty cool, I figure. I'm just kind of going around thanks to my magic wand. <laughs> Builder's wand, I guess I'll call it. It looks like a magic wand, you know, because it's got the little star on the tip. Kind of extending out the platform, trying to, trying to figure out what I wanted it to make it look like. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get all the four platforms set up. I'm going to get some staircases set up. Guys, this should be pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward just a little bit because from this point on, I do the exact same thing for quite a while. All right, guys, just a quick chime in here because I figure this is worth mentioning. Uh, as you know, when you build onto a platform, cables start going all over the dang place. I mean, you start placing things where you don't think they'll bother you, but then you grant the ability to fly like some kind of lightning demigod. And suddenly you see underneath your platform and it kind of makes you vomit in your mouth. It's like, what have I done? There's wires all over the dang place. Every time I try to take a step, I'm tripping over some cables. I'm getting electrocuted. You know, that's just bad deal. It's raining all the dang time. <laughs> so I decided to kind of run the wires dead center underneath. You kind of get a little preview of what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm kind of lining everything up dead center. I'm going to make like an X. Each one of these X's is going to lead to its own platform. I'm kind of clearing out any of the old clutter, but this will probably be the main way of getting juice to my platforms. As mentioned, I will not touch anything actually up top top. This is me just getting the basic infrastructure going. I'm kind of starting to go through the paces, get everything set up here. Uh, most people probably don't care. I figured it would be a given as to, you know, you would need to relocate all your wires. All right, so now I'm moving on to another thing. I'm trying to limit myself on the energy condenser to where I don't use it all the dang time. It is really nice for blocks like this, though. If you have a big building project, screw auto-crafting. I would just mass produce it. But guys, check this out. Futari Pop-Tart Rainbow. <laughs> That's actually what the block is called. Check out Chisel if you haven't already, guys. It's amazing. The block is actually called Futara Pop-Tart Rainbow, and that's what you just saw me putting out. 
This is what my platform is going to be made out of. That's the stuff of dreams, man. That's when you know you're miles high above everyone else. Everyone else is dead, but my platform, by God, is going to be beautiful. Uh, another idea I had at that point, it suddenly hit me. Screw walls. I was going to do walls and make this look like an industrial spaceship or something. I'm going to keep the traditional skyblock look. I'm going to have a fence, a pop-tart rainbow around the edges here. You kind of see what I did with the floor. I, I, it was the same block, the same chisel block, except in a darker color. Uh, I didn't need to make any more, I just used it. And it went really, really well together. Kind of see, I kind of got carried away with making these. I just throw like a diamond in and suddenly you get like 10,000 of these blocks, guys. Uh, Futara blocks, you chisel those into whatever you want. There's a couple different ones. I decided to go with Pop-Tart Rainbows. You kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going around the edge, I'm kind of putting up pillars. This is kind of going to look like a, I guess, a temple-y type build. I think it'll look pretty cool, and as the video will turn out, I think you will be mildly impressed. This is no, no means a master build, but I am freaking proud of this. Uh, so getting a few corners set up with pillars, I'm getting the outline done, I put fences on top of that outline, I coat in a Futari Pop-Tart rainbow <laughs> box. <laughs> it looks really, really trippy, but... There's a reason I decided, yes, I will go with this. It's because it really does take the dreadfulness out of the platform, if that makes sense. I'm a bit of an RPer. I do some D&D &D sessions. I do some role playing and stuff. I like things to look nice. I like to get involved with whatever I'm playing. This looks awesome to me. I, am, I haven't done anything like this in a while. I am having a field day with this mod pack. Check out these walls. I mean, not only are carpenter blocks amazing, this would not be possible without it because, like I said, you could texture whatever you want. Uh, it's just a cool, cool thing looking. I mean, when this thing is said and done and you zoom out, it's going to be literally glittering like the sun. It's going to be beautiful. You will be impressed, I promise. But yeah, basically I'm going around the inside corner here now trying to get another look. Uh, also, I forgot to mention another MVP. Auto crafting guys. I have this set up to auto craft. I really quickly added the recipe. It's just made from like wood blocks and sticks. And now I with my remote I tell it to make it. That's quicker than using the energy condenser because suddenly I just remote in. I need a hundred of these. You click it, boom, they're in your inventory, ready to go. I'm kind of just phasing out the platform here. I decided I wanted to be this awesome dreadnought, kind of even looking. I'm Spoilers, if you can't tell by now, I'm a sucker for things looking good, looking even, looking fresh, <laughs> looking happening. <laughs> Nothing more happening like whatever kind of blocks these are. These look good, don't they? They're kind of like a, a metallic stone. I don't know, like a granite or something. It, it just looks very sturdy, very modern and reinforced. And guys, this looks awesome compared to the top of the platform, which is like just grass and nature-y, and then you go down here and it's all steampunk. I feel like we should have some kind of steampunk music going in the background. I'll see what I could find. Maybe I could get something good, but it's not too bad. So, I'll jump ahead here a little bit with the first platform semi-complete. I kind of got the fences, and we'll move on to the next. Alright, so the outside edges are now done. I got Futari Pop-Tart rainbows all over the dang place. And now I'm deciding to go for the center platform. I already got a little bit of it done. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of trying to see if there's statues. There is a really cool statue mod out there that you could chisel to make it look like any character on the internet, basically. And it's absolutely crazy. I thought about having statues of me all over the place. Uh, it doesn't appear to be in this mod pack, though, so I said scrap that. But yeah, outside, inside, all Futari Pop-Tart rainbows. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it looks so sharp, doesn't it? It's amazing. I got pillars all over the dang place. It reminds me of like the Temple of Nod from Command and Conquer. This looks nothing like the Temple of Nod. Guys, if you can't tell, I'm proud of it. I mean, now I'm just kind of sprucing things up, crafting tables all over the dang place. I am very satisfied with the way things are looking out. This is the first time ever building something like this, this high up. And most of the things, you know, in Minecraft, they're on the ground. You don't have the chance to build in the sky. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but heck, most of the time, you build on the ground. I think the closest I ever got to being in the sky when I played in vanilla like 10 years ago or whenever like when it was maybe 2007 2005 I can't I can't even remember when alpha version of Minecraft first came out the very first thing I built was a glass treehouse and I was so freaking proud of that and it was the highest thing and I built this little boat dock off the side <laughs> it's fantastic but yeah 
kind of going around the base of the platform real quick because the rule of thumb I mentioned in the very beginning always make your platform too deep uh, unfortunately I'm too freaking lazy so I just kind of quit right there at least zooming out it looks like it's two blocks deep it looks pretty good uh, just kind of going around the edges kind of making it all the same height the center platform would be the same height as the outside platform at least it'll look that way but there's actually a stairwell going down uh, all in all I'm very happy with the way this looks. I've mentioned that like half a dozen times now, but it's pretty freaking awesome, guys. As you could tell, zooming out here real quick, we get our first image of the entire sky block. Look at it in all its glory. It's quite fantastic, isn't it? That being said, the fences, at this point, I knew I made the right decision because they pop. So here's another idea I may not have mentioned before. I thought about making some kind of like wings off the side of the ship to make it kind of look like a giant spaceship hovering in the sky. Unfortunately, the biggest blocks I could find look like set players and uh, that didn't quite work out, you know? I just kind of said, screw this, it's fine. I don't need anything else. But yeah, quick tour around the platform now. We're basically nearing completion. I mean, there's really not much else to do. But alright guys, I think that'll be it for me. I've wasted enough of your time with this pathetic short video. I'm just kind of doing some final clearing up now, getting rid of some of the connecting pipes that kind of went all over the dang place. But yeah, check this crap out. The Futari Pop-Tart Rainbow. Let's, uh, let's change it tonight and let's cut off the rain and let's see how this thing looks. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. Skyblock 5.0. I never dreamed this would have happened. Guys, I made this from like a 3x4 block of dirt in the sky. I can't believe it. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.